this release of Ninja Trader 8.0.20.0, there were 93 fixes and changes and only one feature added. So what was that one feature and what are the most important fixes? Stay tuned. One, three, six, seven, six. Okay, this one was the one feature request that was added and no doubt a pretty big one in development time, but it gave options traders the ability to fire off orders through their connection. So uh, Kinetic, uh, IQ Feed, and Interactive Brokers uh, were the big ones and they're, they're all, I believe they're all in beta or it was just uh, Interactive Brokers, but uh, I would assume they all are considering this was just released. So 13676 was the ability to add in option trading. Okay, now we're gonna look at what is important that got fixed. There were 93 fixes and most of these were really minor fixes. Uh, so we're gonna go over just a few of the ones that were probably the most important that you might have stumbled across. 14083 so there was this annoying issue that when you clicked on an alert box it would jump off the screen okay so for example you can see this alert box here this is our xabcd pattern software it fires off these alerts whenever a pattern's detected and when you click it that alert box would sometimes move off the screen now i've already updated to 8.0.20.0 for this video but it uh, doesn't seem to happen anymore so i would assume that it is successfully fixed Okay, 14135. So they have improved the handling of references for backups and restoring processes. So what this means is uh, this is all how they deal with and handle DLLs. Uh, and while uh, we're on that note, I will mention as well as uh, removing three DLLs that were applied to a chart would cause an NTA crash and that bug 14062 has also been fixed. So 14135 was just how they improve the handling of those references uh, for backups and restores and then 14062 was how they uh, fix a crash when you try to remove three, three DLLs that were attached to a chart. So kind of random um, but either way it has been fixed. 14009. Now, this must have been a weird scenario, but they had uh, fixed an issue where the crosshairs themselves uh, were incorrect. High priority after news alert. Restarting. So it will be interesting. I haven't noticed it at all, um, but if you had in a previous release, you'll be glad to know that that is now fixed. So 14055. I'm glad this one was fixed, but uh, basically the chart X axis label was missing on uh, I believe it was the one minute chart with some scaling settings, uh, which were probably more commonly hit. So that has now been resolved. If you trade smaller time frames, uh, that will probably have stand it to you, uh, but it has since been resolved. 14133, now this one I hit all the time, but a chart template would grow in size from saving information that's totally unrelated to the template. So if you want to look in uh, your your template folder where all those files were, you might have noticed some were abnormally large and that's what this bug resolves. So that has now been fixed. Okay, 14012, they changed the performance of a daily chart, but if it was actually done in a minute format. So if it was 1,440 minutes, they've now fixed some performance issues. Uh, related to that chart type. 14065, the market analyzer actually had an important fix because they had a, a section where you could say, uh, you know, if this crossed above or below another cell condition. So this did not work as expected, but the issue has been fixed. Well, like I mentioned, it's great to kill and squash bugs, but with the one feature being options, unless you guys are an options trader, you're probably not super excited about this release, but it will wrap things up probably for the year. They haven't released any micro or hot fix releases after the 8.0.20.0 was released a week ago now. So if you guys have any questions on that, by all means, let me don't, don't forget to grab our news indicator, which is currently free, as well as our price line tool, which you can do some crazy gradient stuff now. So go grab that. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, questions below this video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.